Welcome to episode 1 of the Ultimate LEGO Animation Guide, where you'll learn how to make LEGO bricks come to life with a bit of patience and creativity. In this first video, I'll be teaching you everything you need to know to get started with your first brick film. All you need to get started is a camera, or even a stop motion app on your smartphone, a base plate, something to animate, three desk lamps with fluorescent bulbs, and putty. You can find this at any crafting or office store. Now that you've got all those things, you need to find a dark room in your house with absolutely no sunlight, since natural light can cause light flicker. And you'll need a table that's sturdy enough to stay put when you inevitably bump it. To set up your scene, first you'll need to secure your base plate to the table with putty, and secure your camera at eye level with your subject using a tripod, or putty and Legos from your collection, like this. Now turn off all the lights in the room except your desk lamps and try positioning those desk lamps to establish the mood of the scene. How you light your scene will affect the mood and emotion of your scene, and can even help you tell your story. For now, try to stick with a good rule of thumb of having three lights. A key light, a fill light, and a backlight. The key light influences the scene the most. Place it to one side of the camera so that one side is well lit, and the other has shadows. The fill light is there to fill in the shadows. It provides a softer light and should be dimmer than your key light, so try shining it away from the set and bouncing it off of a white object. Finally, the backlight provides definition and subtle highlights around the outline of your subject to help separate it from the background and make your scene look more three-dimensional. You'll want to be cautious of what you're wearing. Light clothing has been known to cause light flicker in stop-motion animations. Once you've changed into dark clothing, you're ready to animate. Set a frame rate in your iPhone animation app. I'd recommend starting at 15 frames per second and moving towards 24. Take a picture, move your figure, take another picture, and repeat until you've finished your scene. As you continue to improve your skills, you may want to consider investing in a DSLR with a mains power adapter and live view, paired with the Dragon Frame stop motion software. A few of the many benefits of this setup are onion skinning, which allows you to overlay the current frame over the previous one, remote capturing, so you don't have to touch the camera and cause unwanted camera shake, animation guides, and so much more. In the next episode, I'll be sharing tips and tricks for animating your figures and making your shots look even more interesting. So be sure to leave a comment and post photos of your studio setup and links to your first animations to my Facebook page. I watch every single one of them. Thanks for watching and subscribing. I'll see you in the next episode.